Hello everyone, this is Anthony Fasano, your engineering career coach, engineeringcareercoach.com. I'm also the founder of the Institute for Engineering Career Development, a mastermind community for motivated engineers. And you can learn more about that at engineeringcareerdevelopment.com. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about leadership. Because unfortunately, many engineers don't think that they're leaders. They say, I'm introverted, I only know calculations, I never learned about being a leader. Forget about that. The bottom line is you are a leader. If you're watching this video, you are a leader. The question is, are you going to take the time to develop your leadership abilities? And in this tutorial, you're going to see a clip from a webinar that I did, my Engineer Your Own Success webinar. And the strategies that I give you and the story that I share with you in this clip will inspire you. Will give you a new mindset in your engineering career. And I want you to take that mindset and I want you to do great things with it. And I want you to create the best engineering career you could possibly create. It's time to lead the way. <clears throat> you are a leader. If you're listening to this webinar, you are a leader. It's whether or not you want to develop your leadership abilities. And on this slide, I'm going to give you a couple of pointers on how to do it. Your attitude and your energy are very important as a leader. All right? Leaders that are high energy, that energy gets shared with others. If you go into a meeting and you say something like, well, you know, we got a couple of real tough projects. These clients are a pain. They're going to be bothering us the whole time. This is going to be awful. Right? That attitude and that energy projects to everybody in the room and they're all going to take it with them back to their offices and back to their cubicles. But if you come in and you say, listen, this is a great challenging project. The client's a little bit tough to deal with, but we can overcome that. We know how to deal with clients. We're going to work out a great relationship with them and we're going to do awesome on this project. And I need all of you to be a part of it. Then people are going to take that energy back and they're going to say, wow, yeah, we want to do this. It's a challenge, but we can handle it together. So always remember that your attitude and your energy are totally contagious. Always see opportunities as a leader. As an engineer, what are you going to be faced with every day in your career? Problems. People are going to want you to solve problems. So you need to take a problem, you need to look at it, and you need to say, wow, look at that. There's opportunity there. And if you can do that, you will be a great leader. And I'm going to tell you a little story about that in a minute. Understanding your role is very important as a leader, and I'm going to give you a very, very clear example on this one. I had two managers at the engineering company that I worked for. One of them, I would finish a set of plans and specifications, and I would bring it in to him and say, I'm done with these, for, and I need you to review them. And he would say, I'm busy right now. Put them on my shelf, and I'll get to it when I can. And that was somewhat demotivating because I had just finished, and I wanted him to look at it. and and he didn't. Then I would go to the other manager and say, I have a set of plans and specs for you to look at. And, the, and he would always say, oh, Anthony, come right in, sit on my table. Let's go through them now so that you can keep going. This manager understood that his role was to keep his people working and achieving their goals and meeting their deadlines, period, period. And there's a huge difference there. And I hope that that example helps you understand that you need to understand what your role is. Delegation is a big one. Many engineers struggle with delegation. They get in, they go from the, they try to go from technical to management and they can't give up the technical. And you have to realize that if you want to achieve some of your goals, you need to give up the work. And it's not always easy trusting people to do the work. I understand that. But one of the things that you can do to try to make that happen is give people small tasks to begin with so that you can build trust in them and then you can give them more. But it's a critical step. If you can't delegate, you'll always be stuck and you'll never be able to move up. And lastly, trust and respect are so critical in leading. No one's going to want to work for someone that they don't respect and they don't trust. And the only way to gain the trust and respect of the people you work with is to trust and respect them. It's amazing the way that I hear some engineering managers speak to their employees and their secretaries in such a condescending manner that I would never want to work with them. And they don't realize what that does to them and their their opportunity or their, their possibilities of being successful. So remember that. Now I just want to, before I tell you a little bit about the offer that I want to share with you, 
and I summarize things, I want to tell you a quick story. It's going to take a minute. It's from a book that I read, and I think it's a powerful lesson in how to always see opportunities in your career. Once upon a time, there were two shoe salesmen. Both of them worked for different companies, and each of their companies wanted to send them to Africa to investigate the possibility of new market expansion. The first shoe salesman did not want to go on the trip. He said, Africa is way too far away. The second shoe salesman was excited about the possibility of expansion. So the company sent the salesman overseas to Africa. They both did their analysis and they each sent back an email. The first salesman who did not want to go on the trip said, this trip has been an absolute waste of time. There are no opportunities here at all. Nobody here wears shoes. The second shoe salesman who was excited about the trip said, this has been an amazing trip. The opportunities here are absolutely limitless because nobody here wears shoes. The point of the story, two people, same exact situation, different mindset. Take the mindset of the opportunities here are absolutely limitless.